Now for MP6, you'll be asked to implement a KD tree, and in my experience as a TA, uh, this is a pretty hard concept to, to grasp, especially uh, when you try to think in uh, K dimensions, that is, not, not thinking in, in particular terms of a dimension. But uh, the concept really isn't that hard. Uh, I'll show an example here of a two-dimension, two-dimensional KD tree. Uh, now you see here, I've got these points laid out. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And um, basically, all that we are going to do is just split them first in the x dimension. So first thing we have to do is find out what is the median value. Now you notice, because we have six points, um, it's, it's, it's somewhere here between three and four, right? Now, in our implementation, we're just going to arbitrarily decide that the, the left point is actually the median. So in our case, four. So let's put here... Uh, there, that is the first splitting dimension, as you'll see on the spec. So we, so we split it, and now we have two separate classes of points. We get two and one together, and three, five, and six are also together. Now, we've split on the x dimension. Now, the next dimension to split on would be y. And so we basically just consider for a second only a smaller version of the tree. So if we look at this left section as its own individual KD tree, we, we perform the same algorithm, but on the y dimension. Now, again, we have an even number of points, so we'll split on the lower of the two, which would be one. One is a smaller y value than two is. Okay, so there we have our second dimension. Uh, now we continue on to split the KD tree for this particular region where the two point is laying, and we see there's only one point, so there's nothing really to do. Now if I were to draw a line, it would be in the x dimension, since that is the next dimension to go. So I'll just draw that there. Okay, continuing on, uh, we have to recursively process this 3, 5, and 6. Now, this is a little easier since we have an odd number of points. Uh, we can pick the median of the y dimension and, whoops, we see it's 6, just like that. Okay, and we keep uh, recursively applying this algorithm and we get what you see here. Now, we have that, and I'm just going to show what this is going to look look like laid out in an, in an array. Okay, so we have six points, six array slots. Okay, the, the very first, four is our first median. It's the, it's, it's what splits the entire thing uh, basically into two. So, it needs to go into the third spot. We'll stick four there. Okay. Now we have on the left-hand side of four, that is over over here, we have one and two, which needs to be placed. And like I said earlier, uh, if if it's an even number of points, the median goes on the left. Uh, again, this is arbitrary, but how we decided to do it. So then we're left with one and two, just just like that. Okay. Now we're left to consider um, the right-hand side of this 2D KD tree and we have three, five, and six. And the way that these will be laid out is basically lowest to highest. So we go ahead and we'll put five, since it has the lowest y value, six, and three. And there you have it. That's exactly how our KD tree will be laid out in an array um, with all the splitting dimensions shown there.